Hello YouTubers, I'm going to take you into my messy workshop and I have put all this stuff in here since I've moved here I just have not organised to clean it up yet As you can see I have sitting there my rather big lathe that can turn a bowl the size of a 20 inch bicycle wheel and I have another one sitting over here hiding there that needs to be cleaned up again so I can use it and the other part for it is hiding down there as you can see and there's my scroll saw sitting there waiting for me to put it back up in place and there we have my band saw and my drill press and behind my drill press is my um, drop saw sliding compound saw as you can see and I'm nearly falling over that's how much of a mess my shed is it needs a rather good clean up as you can see there's stuff sitting everywhere in here there's a box over there with some power tools in it and power tools on the floor and more boxes of bits and pieces and a box full of bits of wood and more wood there and more wood there and, and another saw that I found on a rubbish pile that needs a blade and a safety guard and I have another one exactly the same with spare parts more wood there and a whole pile of G-plants over there and there we have my um, what do you call it, router table and under there we've got a compressor and there we have my thicknesser and joiner and there's my workbench that I made out of recycled timber and as you can see it's covered in tools and over here we seem to have a lot more wood that needs to be sorted out in another box of junk and bits and pieces and another box of wood big pile of nuts and bolts or I should say not that big there's all my wood turning chisels sitting in this bag here as you can see all my lathe tools that are obviously going to need cleaning up again and buffing and polishing before I use them and there down on the floor we have an old Primus blowtorch that's still in good working order it's just covered in cobwebs and there we've got an angle grinder sitting there and as you can see it needs a rather good clean up there's another box of junk sitting there with bits and pieces in it that need to be sorted out and see what needs to go to the tip and what doesn't and there we have my toolbox sitting on the ground full of spanners and other bits and pieces as you can see I need to find all the tools and put them back in there as well now onto the bench we have router bits sitting there that need to be put back on the wall because I have recently moved from another shed another box full of tools as you can see right from there another one there and my sanding table this is that I'm sort of touching another router there and there's another one under there more bits and pieces, books and G-clamps screws and lots of nails in that cupboard and bits and more bits and pieces are down in there things hanging on the wall over there waiting for new shed doors to be put up on the shed obviously I can't open them very easily if I can it takes a lot of effort to be able to do it my little sanding machine and I'll let everybody know that I am actually a professional wood turner and I also do do metal work there's my bench grinder that I use to sharpen my tools just sitting on the floor casually there collecting dirt and dust and it is a good working order works very well there's some of my bits of metal work metal stuff that I use to bend things with another box full of tools and bits and pieces sandpaper and all those drawers in this chest of drawers is full of sandpaper more bits and pieces there and we're back over here back to the bench and we'll open this drawer and I'll quickly show you there's more stuff in this drawer here too please comment if you reckon my shed really needs a good clean up and yes I am going to set this back up into a workshop some car ramps and it'll be set up only for woodwork and that's a good old homemade lathe that one and it does a wonderful job of making bowls 
that cost me $600 for that one and it is extremely very heavy and it is very solid and it's got a washing machine motor on the back of it as you can see from there